tonight's comes from Joan. Okay. This is uh, uh, a splendid tale. How do you spell that? It's Joe A A. <laughs> Struggle with this before. <laughs> Spelling Joan is very straightforward. It's J-O-A-N. However, none of us could do it earlier on. Wait, right. see, normally he tells me off for not being able to spell. How come <laughs> Joe's How come Joe's allowed, but I'm not allowed? <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyway. I'm, I'm a terrible speller. <laughs> I haven't know, corrected anyone about their spelling. Oh, years. Two and a half years. Right, we can go down the anyway, pub after yeah. the show. Should we call, oh, sort that nostalgic, out there? nostalgic. So nostalgic. <clears throat> So Joan, J-O-A-N, says, uh, Joe, Simon and Bobby, my confession goes back 18 years or so, and I'm prompted to send this in due to the weather and the current time of year, because this is primary school fate season. F-E-T-E, obviously. <laughs> I will start by setting the scene. It's a Friday night, and we've got friends around for a barbecue and a few drinks. My daughter was about five at the time, and I'd agreed to take her to the fate the next afternoon. No problem with that. I'm sure we've all been there. A couple of drinks, but we didn't stop at two or three, if I'm honest. And the next morning, my head struggled to get off the pillow it was attached to. And having a young child meant that dying wasn't going to be an option. So I forced my way to the kitchen in the hope that tea and a paracetamol breakfast might be just what the doctor ordered. It was then that my daughter reminded me of the fate that afternoon. That's... I'm sure it's fine. I'll be okay by then, I was thinking. And then she hit me with the bombshell. What about the cake? She said. (laughs) What cake? I replied, trying desperately to remember what I'd agreed to. The one you were making for the competition. You said you would, and I've entered it already, so I have to take in a cake. At this point, she handed me the screwed-up note that I'd signed a a month ago, at least, agreeing to enter a cake. I work full time, I exclaimed. I must have forgotten. Her face started to well up, and I started to feel as sick as the proverbial dog. Everyone else's mum has made a lavish cake. Obviously, some dads will have made the cakes Mm. as well, but different times, Bobby. I looked in the cupboards. I had nothing to offer. This just made her sheer condemnation of me even worse, and my heart sank. What a terrible mother. Right, I'll go off to the shop. I'll buy all the stuff I need. Anyway... To be honest, the thought of baking in my state was not an appealing one. But the shop was brilliant. In that, I found a ready-made sponge for 99p by a famous brand. Oh, that'll do nicely, I thought. I put some ready-made icing on it and job done. I was on a mission now, and when I got back home, I remembered I had a vase of cut flowers due to be thrown out. They were almost dead, and I thought, well, this could be the decoration. Very avant-garde. Yes, a sponge with icing with dead flowers on. I'm going to... Nowadays, you'd call it a Morrissey cake or something like that. But anyway, it was just a cake with dead flowers. Anyway, by now, the paracetamol and copious amounts of tea and biscuits had started to kick in. And I was actually quite proud of my effort. Mum, that's amazing. How did you do that? I thought, never mind. I said, never mind. Off we go. And we went to school armed with the cheating masterpiece. But at the gates, I was duly met by, let's call her, Mum of the Year. (laughs) You know, the one in the shiny 4x4, always immaculate. She got out of her car, leather seating, with a hand-cut cake made from homemade sponge, perfectly shaped and cut out into cars and buildings with plastic men and carefully selected decorations. There was a car that was actually in a garage, all made out of sponge. This must have been a week's worth of sweat and tears by my calculation. Well, I just wanted to turn around and go home and burst into tears. But thanks to my daughter, that wasn't happening either. So we trudged into school and entered the cake, and I hoped that that would be the end of it. But no, after completing every tombola and every raffle and every hook the fish something or other and find a whatnot game and guess the number of aniseed twists in the teacher, we saw some cakes on display. Not just any old cake. They're all the winning entries in the homemade cake competition. And not only that... My cheat was on show, with the decorative flowers, now breathing their last gasp of life, and to my absolute horror, but my daughter's sheer delight, we had only gone and won it. (laughs) First place, and mum of the year, a loser in (laughs) second place. So not only had we won, it had also been sold to someone for ten quid. Wow. Someone had bought my cake. At this point, we left without looking back, fearing we'd be rumbled. My daughter would be thrown out of school and me dying of shame. Mum, I'm so proud of you, she said. You're the best mum ever. Yes, I was thinking, the best cheating mum ever. Therefore, 
of the Simon. I would like to say sorry to the school, sorry to the mum of the year, loser, the poor soul that spent £10 on a 99p sponge covered in dead flowers, and anyone else I've forgotten. Please forgive me. I don't think I've messed up quite as bad since, and sincerely regret what I did. I suspect there's going to be a lot of people saying, yes, actually, I've done that. Yes, I do admit I was supposed to home bake this thing, and I went out and bought a jar of uh, Sainsbury's marmalade or any other supermarket marmalade, put my own label on it, and we won a competition. Anyway, it's Joan's confession. What do you say, Joan? Who hasn't done this or, or resorted to something similar? Have I you? Think. What have you done? Um, I paid my daughter to. I've got two daughters. One is big and one is little. Yeah. So one's twenty six, one is nine. One is a really amazing cook, and I got to that position where I hadn't made the cake, and it was like you have to make the cake. <laughs> I have to win the competition. Um, and my daughter is a food stylist, so you know, obviously, I'm going to turn to India Very and good. just go, "Can you just make this cake, please?" And the other day we were yeah, looking and you back. Paid her. At, well, of course, <laughs> insider. Um, yeah, no, we were looking at some photographs the other day and Coco just went, oh, my sister is just like the best sister in the world. And Aww. obviously dagger to my heart because I'm not the best mum in the world, but needs I'm sure must. You, I'm when... sure you are. No, I'm not. Um, but, you know, if you're in this situation, um, then of course you can do something like this. The only thing I would say, there's something to learn from this, that will teach you to have your wits about you when you sign any form given to you by a child. Always read the small print, always check what you're signing. That, that gets you into scrapes. That Friday night barbecue before the school fate, though, it's always going to cause trouble. <laughs> Lethal. Bobby, what do you say then? Well, the thing is, it was bought on by uh, too much uh, vino or something. So there's a little bit of me that goes, hmm, hmm, okay. Mm. But you see, the thing is, is you got up and you got there, like you said, is you adapted. It's, you know, it's like most things in life. When things don't work out, which is mostly every day, you have to do something else and you did it. And actually, I feel a little bit sorry for Mum of the Year because even Mum of the Year, very often, is not having a nice time of it. Most the time i think there's veneers for mum of the year so i feel really sorry for her that she didn't win because that might have been her one thing she really really wanted to do that year so i feel a little bit sorry for mum of the year I but i'm actually gonna I don't say like bobby you, sometimes you say, really don't like bobby <laughs> i'm just saying i just said you wait you you know you raised 10 pounds uh, so that was good so it cost you 10 pounds you raised 10 pounds i'm gonna say 